The dating game and how we find a mate has changed over time, but the fundamentals of the heart and human desire remain the same. The importance of sexual intimacy is different for everyone, and the weight placed on the act of sex in or out of relationships varies vastly from person to person depending on age, gender, upbringing, and religious beliefs. I think many people, women in particular, struggle with the decision of when to sleep with a man. What is considered too soon to sleep with a guy you just met or just started dating? Is it okay to sleep with him on the first date? Or do I wait until after the fifth date? The truth is, there is no right answer. This blog is not about slut shaming, but it is about thinking about how early intimacy can affect future relationship possibilities and how it may be more beneficial to wait depending on your own relationship goals. So here are the benefits of waiting to have sex. Number one, takes away the pressure. The first time with a new partner can be exciting, but it can also be filled with nervousness and pressure. If this is someone who you barely know and you want a second date, you may feel pressure to be more exciting or kinkier than you normally would be in bed to try to secure a second date. If you establish your own personal rule that you're not putting out until the fifth or 10th date, You will feel less anxious and pressure because by that point, you have a pretty good idea that you like him and that he likes you too. Number two, you get to know each other. Taking the time to really get to know the new guy in your life, if you are looking for a long-term relationship and love, is the most important part of dating. Figuring out if you share commonality, chemistry, and life goals will be the determining factor if he may be the one or if seeing him again would be a waste of time. Number three, creates mystery. Your relationship will eventually move to the bedroom, but until that time, you get to enjoy all of the flirting and fantasizing as the sexual tension builds up. The bedroom action for the first time is the big reveal. But some women allow everything to peak too soon in the relationship and the romance fizzles out quickly. Number four, changes relationship focus. Once sex is off the table, temporarily of course, it allows the relationship to grow organically and for two people to get to know each other. Sex is great but it can also be a distractor and become the focus of the relationship in the early stages, especially if the sex is good. You may think that a relationship with a focus on good sex is not a bad thing, but if a young relationship is all about sex, it's not much of a relationship and not likely to last. Number five, you know he likes you for you. If you have gone out with a guy six times and there has been no sex chances are he keeps coming back for you because he likes you but when a guy keeps coming back after you have slept with him on the first date or maybe when you first met him and it wasn't even a date you can't be sure if he likes you or is just using you i'm not advocating for no sex before marriage in fact i strongly encourage sampling and making a determination of sexual compatibility before making a lifelong commitment to someone. What I am saying is to maybe reconsider sleeping with a guy too soon if you are looking for a long-term relationship. However, if you are just looking for a good time and no strings, then just do your thing. Now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on waiting to have sex in a new relationship. Do you think it matters? Does becoming intimate too early or too soon in a new relationship 
sabotage future possibilities? Please share your thoughts. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.